Well, finding work has been a challenge for a lot of people, but one area of demand that we don't have enough people trained for is in computer and business technology. Columbia State has programs to get you ready to go right to work in these high-tech fields, and here to tell us more about them is Lori Pewitt and Wendy York. Both are associate professors at Columbia State. Ladies, welcome to the show today. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, this is going to be really good news for a lot of people who are looking to advance their education and career. So for people interested in information systems technology, talk about the three degree options you have. Well, right now we have three. It is office information technology, we've got medical technology, and we've got software development. Um, in the spring of 2013, we are going to add a fourth option, which will be um, computer networking. So this networking program is going to follow Cisco Academy curriculum, mm -hmm. which at the end of the program, the student will be um, eligible to take the CCNA exam, which is a Cisco certification that employers are really looking for. Oh, wow. So all of these um, programs take uh, two years to complete. Only two years two to complete. Years. Wow. That's right. That's great. So let's talk about one of them specifically, the office major. Tell us what someone in, in that field would do. It's, it's kind of gen general. It is. What we do and what every employer says that they want is communication skills and computer skills. So what they do is they come in, if you don't know how to type, we can teach you that and go all the way into an advanced word course. We teach access, we teach an Excel class, and then communication skills are in every class, but we also teach a business writing class, wow. along with a lot of other things that you can go into yeah. work with. Well, in that major too, you always think of someone as an administrative assistant or um, maybe even a customer service rep. So what type of skills are needed now for that? They're saying communication skills and computer skills. They want people who work well with other people. They want smiling faces to greet people as they come into their businesses. So we can teach you that. That's wonderful. Now another one, let's talk about the types of jobs graduates with the software development major end up in. What are those? Okay, well the software development program really um, deals with programming. So the student would go to work straight into a company's IT department mm -hmm. and they would begin probably in a junior level programming job. But the neat thing about the program is not only is there software development, there's also web development and um, database development and um, a, a networking class. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of options for students. And this is a brand new major. It is. It will begin this fall. All right, great timing. Now, let's talk about the medical office program. Tell us a little bit about this one. How long does it take to earn the degree, and what kind of things would a person do in this? It takes two years to earn the degree. When you go into a medical office and you see a smiling face there, that will take all of your information, your insurance card, that's what we're training for. So they will come in, they will answer the phone, they can schedule, they will deal with some insurance, um, they will do a lot of customer service, pull files, whatever they need to do to make that office run smooth. Lots of great options for people today. Mm -hmm. Where can they go to get more information about these degrees? Well, they'd go to the Columbia State website. It's columbiastate.edu forward slash admissions. All right. And where do they take classes at? Can they go to any location? They can. We have five campuses. So we've got Franklin, Columbia, Lewisburg, Lawrenceburg, and Clifton. All right. Great information. Thank you so much, ladies, for stopping by Thank today. You. Hey, for more information on attending Columbia State Community College, log on to columbiastate.edu slash admissions. We've got a link to that site on the More at Midday section of WSMV.com.